I've always seen design as a thought, a dream, or a concept that has continually evolved. Not a static single point in time representation of a model consisting of loss, fillets, and extrusions or drawings. Design is a process. It's not an end. It's a continual evolution of thought that must be captured and effectively communicated. In essence, design is only as useful as the designer's ability to capture and communicate a concept. Now I'm hitting the road to see how our customers are utilizing Autodesk technology to turn concept into reality. Hey, what's up, everybody? Rob Cohey, Manufacturing Evangelist for Autodesk here in sunny California. Now, what do you suppose is the most critical resource for Californians and communities all over the world? Clean water. Well, I've come here to Rancho Cucamonga, California to figure out what APT Water is doing with this community to provide them clean water so their communities can thrive. Let's go check it out. APT Water develops and commercializes advanced water treatment process technologies that enable water reuse and environmental remediation. Their technologies are based on renewable resources and minimize or eliminate production residuals or waste byproducts. Clean water, no waste. Their process technologies harness the power of clean chemical reactions and sustain naturally occurring biological systems. All right, so to find out exactly what's going on here at Rancho Cucamonga, I wanted to meet up with David Stanton. David, how are you doing? I'm doing just fine, thank you. So David's the CEO of APT Water. David, tell us a little bit about APT Water, what you guys are doing here at Rancho Cucamonga, and, and the, your unique aspect to a pretty critical problem that a lot of communities have. Sure, sure. At APT Water, we're focused on reusing water. Uh, we've looked at the whole uh, problem of water and said that uh, we need to be actually capturing and reclaiming the water the right where it is, right in the middle of the communities that need it the most. So we have two or three technologies. Today we're going to highlight one of them. Okay. Well, tell us a little bit about the sense of the scale of the problem in, in this community and other communities around the country. Well, we, we've set a goal at APT that over the next three years we're going to treat enough water to feed a million and a half people, uh, roughly the size, a city the size of Phoenix. Uh, and we're going to do that through lots of small uh, recovery projects where uh, we come to a place like this uh, where they've got a wonderful source of groundwater. Uh, that groundwater has been damaged uh, through agricultural use over the years by nitrates. Okay. Uh, and in this situation today, we've got a, a groundwater well that was installed a long time ago. So one of the things that I found unique in, in, in meeting with, uh, with you and your team yesterday was your, uh, your service approach to this industry as compared to you know, bring it in or drop it in and, 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 and build a, a big, huge processing plant and then hand it over to the city, you guys are offering more of a service. Right, so we've looked at the problem and said, you know, the cities and, and communities have a lot of money already invested in their water infrastructure. And they're paying a lot of water for the money coming in. So rather than you know, try to get them to you know, double down and spend a lot more money on the, the, the service and capital needs to uh, bring this particular site back to life, we want to come in set down our, our gear and uh, provide a service to the community and actually provide them water at a discount to what it would cost them to buy it from the state water project or, or go find another source of water uh, on their own. And in theory, it's their water. All we're doing is servicing for them. So we think of ourselves more like uh, they might think of a garbage collection company or something that comes in and you know the, the city doesn't have to buy garbage trucks to get the garbage to, out of their community. They shouldn't have to to buy our equipment in order to get the nitrates out of their water. So we're like a service company taking the nitrates out of their water and providing it to them for a fee. That's a very interesting approach to, uh, to a problem that I think communities are, 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 are being challenged with all around the globe. And, and, and your technology, which we're going to learn more about throughout the day, is truly unique. And, and, and your, your, your whole mantra of clean water, no waste is really um, bringing this community's water system back up to par. That's right, and I, I want to highlight that, our theme, clean water, no waste. We want to uh, provide this service without creating a new problem for, for the community. I mean, so our technologies are very focused on solving the problem completely right on site. And so this technology you'll see today, actually, you know, there is really no waste product that leaves this uh, plant and has to be taken. Or it, it takes the nitrates out of the water, provides the, the clean water to the city tanks. I love it, a completely unique approach to a challenge that typically we try to address through mainly mechanical needs, but you guys are bringing in some biology mixed with, with uh, you know, some of the latest technology that's available to produce clean water at no waste. Yeah, you're going to meet our scientists today, they're better at explaining it than me, but uh, the, we're actually uh, providing an environment for this uh, to be solved using a natural process and, and really not even adding anything chemically to the water. Uh, as, as, we're, as we're treating it. So it's really a breakthrough uh, technology in that regard. So one of the things, you know, work, as, as, as working for Autodesk, I'd be remiss not to ask you, what has is, what is technology done to enhance 
uh, your uh, your business really help you maybe communicate with your customers? What have what has our technology done to, to help your business progress? Sure. Well, we are um, uh, a small company and uh, we're trying to do big things. And so, uh, in order to be sure that we can um, meet the requirements of our clients and our own expectations, we have to have the best tools available uh, to make that happen. And so, our entire uh, program is built around uh, the concept of extensive design engineering, uh, research in the lab, piloting and prototyping in the site, and then we have to actually create the uh, type of information material that we can manufacture these products all around and with our partners, and, and our, our tools are critical to that. Um, we're hiring uh, young uh, engineers who are expert on these things and uh, are using the computer technology uh, as engineers uh, almost uh, as a uh, as I would use maybe a word processor or something that makes me feel somewhat antiquated but but they're very skilled on these and and frankly it integrates right into our marketing program so when you see what we use on the internet and what we're marketing with uh, very often it's uh, some version of a rendering coming from our engineering team and the tools they're using sure so digital prototyping is helping you not only design but also potentially position and market your product exactly and it's a wonderful way to show a client what they can expect before we've actually even done any pro, you know, any work on their site. So David, thanks so much for your time this morning. I really appreciate you kind of explaining what you guys are doing here at Rancho Cucamonga. I look forward to working with the rest of your team the rest of the day. Great, great, thank you, Ryan. Thanks. Okay. Next, I meet up with one of APT Water's customers, the Cucamonga Valley Water District, to get a sense of the impact on local communities when they can no longer use their own water resources due to contamination.